everyone. We're back with another episode of Sabre Spectrum. This is your host, Preeti Sahu, from the comms team of Sabre India. Today, we have with us Kiran S., a guest for this podcast. Kiran, why don't you share with our audience about your role and yourself before we proceed ahead? Thanks, Preeti, for having me on this show. Hello, everyone. I am Kiran. I am working in capacity as manager, software engineering. I have total 17 years of IT industry experience in full stack development. I have led large scale data center cloud migration for B2B and B2C products. Development teams report to me for delivering new features, cutting edge travel technology solutions to our elite customer base. I also have additional responsibility for being site reliability engineering practice leader for my product called Get There, B2B corporate travel online booking tool. So in a nutshell, this is a quick round of introduction about me. Wow, uh, you mentioned SRE. What does SRE actually mean and why do we need it? Could you also help us understand what's the reason behind it trending in the software industry recently? Sure, SRE is a site reliability engineering. SRE is basically a job function, a mindset, and a set of engineering approaches to run better production grade systems. SRE is implementation of DevOps, what's you a guideline on what you get right in terms of you treat operations as a software engineering problem. Uh, one of the basic reason like why it is trending high in IT industry is uh, Google has been a strong advocate of SRE. SRE is directly tied to user experience of a product. So that's why it is getting like bigger traction as large organizations are wanted to run their production grade systems in a better scalable, reliable and efficient manner. In that case, could you help us uh, also understand the key principles and any examples maybe from your real life? Sure, Preeti. If you go about SRE key principles, right? The most important feature of any system, right? Any product that you're using is reliability. Like how reliable are your system for an end user to use uh, your features which are exposed to your customer base. Mm -hmm. principle two, right? Uh, basically, our monitoring does not decide our reliability. Our end user do. In a nutshell, whether my end user of product is having favorable experience using my product, right? It all matters. We need to be as close as possible in terms of capturing the end user experience in our system so that we can better design our products and then offer it to our customers. Okay. Principle three. A meeting our reliability goal requires our well-engineered software teams, well-engineered operations team and well-engineered business, right? So all these personas, the software development teams, business and operation, they need to adapt SRE approach, right? In order to derive reliability goals. So that will make our end users happy. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you so much for letting us know about the basic principles, Kiran. Um, who can and how do we adapt SRE. Is SRE technology agnostic? Yeah, we can adapt SRE in various ways, right? So some of the better guidelines provided by Google is we can focus on primary areas of practices under the metrics and monitoring, capacity planning, uh, change management, emergency response. And another way to like get a good uh, adaption level of SRE is to identify critical user journey of your product. Basically, critical user journey represents a set of interactions a user does in order to fulfill a common objective in your product. Let's say, for example, you might be using a travel portal. Uh, you are doing a flight search for a specific given criteria, search criteria. You are doing shopping, adding to cart uh, with the e-commerce application. You are going with a booking, loading profile pages. So this could be like a number of examples uh, of a specific critical user journey in your product. The key here is capturing this service level indicator. So basically service level indicator, we call it as SLI as an acronym. It's a metrics that describes user experience, right? There are a number of SLI menus available, be it in the area of availability, latency, correctness, coverage, throughput, freshness, right? So depending upon the context of the end user, so we mm -hmm. tend to add this SLI service level indicator that states like how reliably your systems are behaving to our customer requests. And also it is important for us to 
set an aspirational service level objective. So what is the level at which the product is expected to behave in production right to my end user requests and also last but not least right we need to keep a close tab on service level agreements as a different persona of developing a software there will be some contractual obligations that organizations might have with our customers so we need to keep that in mind we also need to identify error budget so there is always a tug of war between how frequently I can release new features into production, keeping a tab on reliability, right? So, so I need to make sure that the product organization is not falling behind in terms of rolling new capability, new features. But important fact is how do we keep a, a window like where I can be uh, having a window for unreliability, right? That's where I can take uh, ex I can take calculated risk as an organization and put some new capabilities keeping that window. So this we call it as error budget. Basically, it's a window where a system can have accepted level of reliability based on your SLI and SLOs. Mm -hmm. Usually in Sabre, we have a rolling window concept that is product specific, right? It can be like bi-weekly or it can be monthly. And then we keep evaluating SLIs with a permissible boundaries of SLOs, right? And if uh, service level indicators are breaching service level objectives, error budget is exhausted. Uh, automatically, with the best practices of SRE, we prioritize reliability. And uh, answering to your question, yes, SRE is technology agnostic. SRE is, does not depend on any specific set of technology. SRE uh, adoption, right, uh, is basically related to the a job function, a, a mindset paradigm shift, right? In terms of moving ahead with the guidelines provided by Google and adapting it. OK, that was a very comprehensive answer, Kiran. Thank you so much. So can you share your insight on what role the site reliability engineer plays within an organization in a couple of words? Yeah, yes, sir. the site reliability engineer uh, in a product Team, right? They will they will be having following primary areas, so they work on developing and strengthening the metrics and monitoring, and they try to add some new capabilities and then new scripts and the new programming they do in order to capture end user experience. Working closely with the product management team and business, they assist in capacity planning, working with the architects and system owner. It's very important to have a right capacity, right? Be it hardware or software in terms of serving the volume of traffic that you are experiencing. And also SRE will participate in change management, release consulting and automation. SRE also actively be part of emergency response. They carry out the role of on-call duties and they do analysis. They do post-mortem of the issues which are recognized in productions with our proactive monitoring or customer reported issues. And also SRE tried to implant a culture of uh, toil management, right? Many manual repetitive uh, things which get, which exponentially grows as the services grow, right? So keep a tab on it, manage a toil, have a healthy backlog of toil, which can be addressed to propel, help the velocity of the teams and also put a reliability index uh, upright uh, from end user experience point of view. And last but not least, in case of any issues, conduct a postmortems, uh, especially the blameless post postmortems, identify the action items and then come up with the owners and remediate those action items to make sure that the issues are not repeated going forward in production. That looks like a lot of work. OK, um, so your thoughts on SRE path forward? Do you help us understand how do you think it could look like? Yeah, SRE is going to have a commendable impact in IT industry going forward because now more and more organizations are especially focusing on the end user experience, customer eccentricity and reliability aspect of it. And SRE will surely be embedded in the DNA of software development, delivery and post-production phase. And I'm sure uh, Sabre is already a great place to work for people who are aspiring SRE career. I'm sure it is. Thank you, Kirin. It has been a very insightful podcast. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you as a guest. We hope a guest who are looking to make their career in SRE would have got insights through your experience and would make use of it. We will keep coming back with 
more such episodes in the coming months. So till then, I request the audience to stay tuned, keep following us on our social channels and our website and share the love. Till then, good day, goodbye.